Here we resume where we left off in part one. Degrease and clean the mating surfaces. And here I have, I don't have air tools, so I use a little computer air thing. Use gel seal two for sealant and just put a thin bead. Whoops, this is going too fast for me to narrate. Seat the crankcase and install the screws and the taper pin. Now here, after it's assembled, I'm checking to make sure that the gel seal did not ooze out into the crankcase. It's extremely important that it does not ooze into the bearings or the oil labyrinth. I installed the seals using a socket of the same diameter. Here, as you can see, the crankcase head seals. There's two of them. And I also installed the upper main bearing seal. Gasket sealing compound is applied to the metal surfaces of the seals. And here I have a piece of PVC tube. Ah, here we have the head. And there's a head gasket. We get to install that, make sure the surfaces are clean and grease free. Torque the cylinder head down in stages and follow the torque sequence shown in the service manual. The fuel bypass cover gasket shown here gets gasket sealer as well as the exhaust covers, the two gaskets and the exhaust covers also get sealant. The intake manifold and the reed valve plate gaskets do not get sealant and those just get assembled dry. We make sure everything's flat and smooth and, and fits well. The exhaust housing and the water tubes get assembled next and the gasket is installed dry. Scoop some Permatex number two on the lower crankcase head where it fits inside. And here, that grease that I don't know how to pronounce, that white stuff, put that on the uh, shaft. There's a drive shaft right there. Put it on the splines, but not on top of the drive shaft, just on the splines. To install the power head, the lower unit must be dropped so you can properly align the cooling tube in the water pump. And once they're aligned, everything will snap right into place. And here, don't forget this grounding strap here on one of the power head screws. It wasn't easy to reattach the shifting mechanism, but eventually, after a while, I got it reattached. Then attach the fuel system, the fuel pump, and carburetor. And there's the air box there. Molly lubed the crankcase boss and then slap on this ignition plate here and attach the flywheel and next the electrical components. There's the capacitor discharged ignition, spark plug wires, gap and install some new spark plugs and then test the son of a gun. After breaking it in, for some reason my friends always wanted to play with my Johnson and they wouldn't let me play with it. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up now. <laughs> Wait a minute, where are you going with that thing? <laughs>